Elias stepped closer, his gaze steady. I want you to train, to learn control and to grow stronger. Vorin's been gathering followers, those with abilities who think like he does. If we don't prepare, he'll tear apart lives to get what he wants. I can help you, if you're willing. When Lyra was barefoot on the grass or waddling in mud or water, it gave her a connection to the universe. Lyra hesitated, her mind racing. She'd spent so long concealing her powers, grappling with them in isolation. The idea of training sounded foreign and intimidating, but the thought of facing someone like Vorin, someone willing to hurt innocent people, was even more terrifying. And you think I can help stop him? She asked, searching Elias's face for a hint of doubt. More than you know, you're stronger than most of us when we're first starting out. I've seen how quickly you pick things up, but there's room for improvement. He smiled, adding a bit of lightness. She glanced at the pebble, still floating in the air beside him. She had questions, so many questions. But one thing was clear, she wanted to understand her powers, to use them in a way that felt right. If Elias could teach her, maybe she could finally find a place in this strange new world she'd stumbled into. All right, show me what I need to do. They began meeting every evening in the park. Elias taught her exercises to hone her focus, grounding techniques to control her emotions, and movements that helped amplify her strength. At first, it was exhausting, her concentration splitting under the weight of it all. But with each session she found a rhythm, feeling more capable, more attuned to her power. One night as they worked, she sensed a tension in the air. What is it? She asked, feeling a tremor in the energy between them. Elias's expression turned somber. Vorin's followers, they're closer than we thought we may not have as much time as we'd hoped. The gravity of his words sank in, but Lyra's fear was tempered by resolve. She wouldn't run, whatever came next she'd be ready, 